You buy a full coverage foundation, you put it on your face, you're covered up. The problem comes in when you are 55 years old, you have dry skin, you have rosacea, you have hyperpigmentation, you've got blemishes, you're a normal looking midlife woman. I would like to see if I could get it all covered up but still look good when you look close up. So what I'm going to do first is to cover things up with a concealer. I'm going to use the Refer number 32 brush. This has a nice angled brush and it's relatively dense but it does have movement so you can feather things out. What I'm going to first do is use my fingers. This is pretty much my skin color. You can see it almost blends but that's what I want and I'm going to put this in all those places that just don't look good and I'm going to take my concealer brush and just feather it out and kind of blend it in I did not use a primer. That might be a mistake, we'll see. The idea is to try to get the major things covered up and then the foundation will just blend it all together. I know I don't have really bad skin, but I do know that this area, it just never looks great in my opinion. I have redness always in here. When I put full coverage on, I hate how it looks like on my forehead, around my nose, mouth. I hate how that looks. Take the brush and just blend it in. I'm kind of pressing it in as I go to try to get it to really adhere to my skin. This is a full coverage foundation. I would never use this under my eyes. Plus this color is too dark for under my eyes but I'm bringing it up to my eyes. And I always have this dark spots here. I'm working on getting rid of them, but it's taking a while. Those kind of things always take a while. So I'm gonna try to cover that up as well. I think I've gotten the major things as I can see. I am gonna do some concealer under my eyes after I do my first layer of foundation. So what I'm going to do is go in with the foundation I know I love and it is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. This is hands down my go-to if I have to get out the door. I know it will work for me. This is what I will choose. And I am in the color 4-5 which is a medium. Now since I want full coverage I'm not going to use a sponge. I'm going to use a brush. So I'm going to use the BK Beauty 106 brush, absolutely hands down my favorite brush to use for foundation. I'm going to pounce it on first. And again, my goal is to look good every place else, but to have this covered up and not cakey. Would I go through this process every day? Probably not. But if I really, really wanted to have a flawless look, like for a special occasion or something like that. Yeah, I probably would. I don't have a lot of blemishes and discoloration on my forehead. What my struggle on my forehead is absolutely dry skin. Even in the middle of the summer, I struggle with dry skin there. I'm going to use my stands out sponge and just kind of take off any extra foundation that just has gathered or hasn't blended well. I have got a zit inside my like inside it hurts so much to push right there <laughs> like, how do you get a zit inside your nose <laughs> like huh, I don't get zits even on my face but I get them inside my nose I've gotten them inside my ear before I get them in the weird spots this is the Becca under eye brightener concealer I'm going to dab it in the corner a little bit this has got a kind of peachy tint to it and I'm using this to cancel out any blueness that I have in the corner of my eye. I'm going to go in with the Mary Kay concealer that I've been liking. Just do a little bit of brightness right in the corner there. I'm going to use the same. This is a Beauty Pie brush one of my favorite brushes. It just goes in my eye so easily. So, I don't know, it's just the perfect angle for my eyes. 
I'm going to use a little bit more of the True Match Nude just right here and there. And I'm doing this more to just blend any concealer and any redness there. I'm going to use, you know, no, I'm going to use a sponge with this one just to give it a nice, light, moisturized feel to it or look to it, I should say. And this second coat, I always go very, like I tap it very lightly. The goal is not to use it to do all over my face, but to just get it to look kind of seamless. So how did we do? Pretty good coverage. I can see a little bit right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not bad at all. I am going to powder it down though. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Pressed Powder. And I'm going to use a puff to do this because I feel like it just gives me the best control. Make sure everything is blended out. You never want to set it before you've done that because you're just going to set up all the creases. Now I can still see some coming through there. Yeah. I still see this. I'm going to take a little bit more of my NARS, the concealer, and I'm going to use the brush this time and just use that. That definitely made it a bit more cakey. From far away, it looks better, doesn't it? But the key is I want it to look good close up. And when I get close up, it's not bad but it's not great. The other thing I'm not liking is right here on my nose. Let me pull you closer. If you guys can see right there on my nose, do you see the redness? That people are gonna see because of being, obviously we have normal lives and we see each other in all different sides. So some of that might bend because I'm afraid to push on it because of that zit in my nose. Better, but I am gonna take a little bit of my foundation and just put it right on my nose right in that area. Put it on this one as well. And I'm gonna take that same concealer brush and I'm going to push it in. Mm, not liking it too much. Not liking it. Let's try something else. Use a bit more of a fluffy brush. This is the number 10 by Ruffer. And this time I'm going to use the 16 hour cover and last a foundation powder. So it's going to give me more coverage, but we'll see if it makes it look cakey. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, that was much better. Okay, it's looking really cakey right here. Oh my goodness, so bad. <laughs> yeah, let's blend that out. In order to get rid of the cakiness, I had to blend it out and basically it took away my coverage right there. Although far away it doesn't look bad. Do you guys notice it? I actually think it's better. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm hoping you guys can see this. It's very cakey all in here. I don't know if that's gonna come across but it's very cakey, like I'm not happy with it. I had to take off some of this in order to get the cakiness away. It is looking better here, but I would not call that completely flawless. This side, you can see I still have some discoloration right here. This literally does bug me most time in my um, makeup application because of the fact of when you go to put in a contour right here, it looks like I slipped and went down here. Like I didn't blend it well and that bothers me. So I think I'm back to the drawing board. I do think this looks okay but I wouldn't say it looks flawless. Could the answer be to add a little bit more coverage right here with my concealer instead of my foundation? Let's try that. I can see it. <laughs> can you guys see it? Close up, it doesn't look bad. Far away, I still see it. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to need to use a higher coverage. This 
True Match Nude is definitely a light to medium coverage. I think I need a full medium along with the concealer. I do think this concealer is doing a good job, but I think it alone, because I don't want to just pile it on. I mean, yes, I could cover my face and make this be extremely high coverage, but is it going to look good up close? So let's start over. We have a clean face again. I put all my skincare back on because whatever I do has to work with my skincare. So I decided to try a medium to full coverage foundation that I know I like. I'm going to go with the Morphe Filter Effect. It is a medium to full coverage. And I'm going to go ahead and pair it with the Mar Mars, NARS again. But this time I am going to use a primer. First I'm going to go with the Revlon Prime Plus because I already know I like it. It is a smoothing primer. I'm going to use a different one around my nose, like in the creases. For that I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm just going to use that right where I was having trouble with the first one. Oh, my nose hurts right there. <laughs> Again with the NARS. When I'm doing this part, I'm doing it really light. Just kind of wanting to have it grab a hold of it, but also kind of feather it out along my skin. All right, I am going to use a concealer along my nose right here, but I'm going to use the Fit Me Concealer. It's a little bit more creamy. I'm not going to go really heavy and I'm going to do it before I do my foundation. I'm just going to use the Becca and maybe not use a concealer afterwards because it got cakey down here. Maybe I just need to be more careful to keep it up there. All right, let's go in with the foundation. It's the Morphe Filter Effect and you can see it's pretty thick. It doesn't have a lot of runniness to it. Oh, did I put it on my nose? I don't remember. Did I put the found? Oh, I don't think I did. Well, let's see what happens now. <laughs> Use a different brush so I don't combine the two, but it's still the number 106 from BK Beauty. So I did not use a lot of foundation this first layer at all. More concealer right on the tip of my nose here again. Right there I can see, and hopefully you guys can see, right there is a broken capillary. So I'm going to go ahead and put my concealer there. Dab it in a little bit more. I'm looking in my close-up mirror here <laughs> and it's still red right here better on this side close up it looks pretty good I do need a little bit more blending but it looks better let's go in with a second coat but use the sponge because I'm pretty sure if I used the brush again it would be too much do you guys see it I see it. It's coming through. Let's try a little more foundation, I mean concealer, just right there. When I look at it, like it looks great. But up close, oh. <laughs> Actually up close, it doesn't look bad at all. Okay. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't touch it, but I feel like it needs to be blended a little bit. Do we have a winner? My nose looks great. My forehead looks great. I do see a little bit of redness right in here. This concealer is actually a pretty good concealer. I'm happy with it. Okay, that looks better. We might have a winner here. I'm going to finish my makeup because then we'll see if everything settles in and it, it still stays looking beautiful. So far, I mean, hmm, do I see it? I think sometimes it might be a phantom look, like I know it's there, so <laughs> you think it's still there. You guys can tell me, Bobby, it was gone. You need to just let it go. <laughs> I'll finish up my makeup and come back.
final look, final thoughts. I think I have a winner. I don't think it is blinked out. Nothing's on my face. I do see some things coming through, but nowhere near what it was before. Up close, my skin still looks pretty. I wouldn't cringe if somebody came up close to me. I'd be like, okay, are they noticing my makeup? So that's a win. So I do think that the Morphe, because it is a medium to full coverage, I can get it to be a more full coverage when I add the NARS concealer with it. So this combination is a winning combination as far as I'm concerned. So if I really want to get that flawless look, I know I can have this go-to. And I think that's a good thing to have in our arsenal if we have a special occasion where we just want to look flawless or as flawless as we can look. If you're new around here, you may not know that I am on a weight loss journey and I am chronicling it very honestly. So I'm going to put that playlist right here. It is called Midlife to Fit Life. So I encourage you to go there if you're on a similar journey or if you just want to go along with me. If you would like some tips on how to get the best looking foundation that you can have. This one right here gives you tips and tricks on how to make your foundation look really good for those of us who have mature skin. I will see you in one of those or another one. God bless.